The new Myanmar capital of Naypyidaw used to be largely off limits to Western visitors. But like much of this resource-rich country, it's opening up as Myanmar's leaders look for more acceptance from the outside world. The Wall Street Journal recently visited on a trip authorized by the government for his first major interview with the Western press in years. Reporters found a vast city that underlines the government's aim to turn Myanmar into a more important regional player. A massive new international airport is under construction and builders are adding two new stadiums and numerous hotel complexes. There's also a giant new convention center funded by China and a domed exhibition hall for international gym sales that looks like a flying saucer. Other highlights include a shopping mall and a big box hypermarket, a rarity for Myanmar, which has one of the lowest standards of living in Asia. Despite the country's crushing poverty, the city's giant traffic roundabouts have well-tended flowers and landscaped grass, while sprinkler systems water green areas nearby. And there's a giant pagoda overlooking the city, with a Buddha tooth relic also provided by China. Still, much of the master plan city built from scratch over the past decade remains empty. Six and eight lane highways are often quiet and chalky dirt roads radiate outwards into villages of stilt houses or across the city's many rice fields. Previous visitors have ridiculed Naypyidaw as a costly boondoggle designed to isolate the country's government from its people. But more recently, observers have argued the city is more about making a clean break with Myanmar's past, which included a harsh military junta that was the target of tough Western sanctions. Planners have said the city is supposed to be relatively empty for now, so that it can avoid the traffic and other ills common in other big Asian capitals. In the long run, Naypyidaw could turn into a big white elephant. But if the country's economy keeps opening up, it could become something else, a big part of Myanmar's future. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Patrick Barda in Naypyidaw, Myanmar.